All right, Fishaholics, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Rich. Be sure to hit that sub button and hit that like button at the end if you enjoyed. Today we are back in the salt, heading up the creek. Never fished here before, just gonna be exploring around and hope to catch anything that's willing to bite. Had a little tip about this area. Huge shout out to Mark again, uh, if you're watching. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm actually breaking a sweat. We've got probably about a two mile an hour outgoing current right now. So we're gonna try and get as far up as we can to our first spot and then kind of fish our way out with the tide. And I think low tide is around 3 p.m. It's around 11 right now, quarter of 11. But uh, yeah, let's just make the most of the day and see if we can find some fish. Whew. We are getting our workout in today. Probably 50 degrees out, but it feels like it's 60 or 65, 70 maybe. But a uh, little tip for you, if you're going against the tide and you're say fishing a creek like this or a channel or an inlet and uh, you know there's bends or turns in you know that waterway uh, what I'm doing as I'm heading up against this current is I'm not going just straight up and following you know the snake like uh, turns of this creek I'm kind of just cutting the corners and you see how up here it bends and, and kind of swoops around like this out there the current is a lot stronger so if when you're heading up if you hide like behind the bends and then when we get around the point up here we're going to cut across and then hide behind the next bend because there's going to be less current here the main flow is out there going around this point so i'm making it just a little bit easier for me as we're going up all right finally made it up to our first spot and you can see here like there's a little bend we we're going along the reeds and then as soon as i jumped out here into the main flow you just see the kayak got taken to the side like the current is racing out here but uh being that we're at our first spot i'm just coming out here into the main flow because i'm trying to get into some deeper water and see if we can mark anything hmm. all right we're taking about a dozen casts no bites yet and not marking a whole lot of stuff on the screen also if you notice the difference in frame size well i just switched the gopro from wide angle to super view so a little tip for you in case you're you know deciding to pick up a camera or gopro and get into a little filming um, if you're wearing the camera on your body i prefer super view but if it's on like a tripod and you're like talking to the camera i prefer wide angle i just think it comes out a little bit better all right well since i haven't been marking anything out deeper I'm starting to creep into some shallower water, like five foot in shallower. And actually, we just had a nice mark on the screen. But by the time I like could talk about it, it was gone. But that is a good sign. Maybe because of the sun being real strong and out today, these fish could be pushed up shallower, just soaking in some of that warmer water. There's one. Be Sean. Wow. That was a tiny one. <laughs> Probably like an eight incher. So the biggest trout that I've ever caught was down in Jacksonville a couple years ago. And uh, you know what, I guess I'll roll the clip for some of you guys that are new to the channel and haven't seen it. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, nice red. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, it's not a red, it's a gator trout. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. What is going on? Got him. Yeah, man. Biggest trout I've ever caught. Yeah. Check this trout out six pounder oh, that's crazy oh, look at that beautiful fish on the little bass assassin she shad yeah that was some gator trout to catch hmm. let's take off the bass assassin and try 
the good old reliable Kitek. Damn, snag something. Wow, smooth. Lost everything. All right, well, we got some 20 pound fluoro here. That's what I was using previously. We'll just do a quick little uni to uni. Put on probably another Kitek and get back at it. All right, well, time to make a game changing move. Uh, you can see how low the tide has gotten already. And uh, that spot where we had that one trout on, uh, I possibly had one other little bite, but um, pretty lifeless other than that. And we actually went up, up the creek a little bit further to where there was another bend in some deep water. I uh, saw a couple marks there, but nothing crazy. And since it is just about like two o'clock and low tide is supposedly at like three, we're gonna start working our way out of this creek with the tide so uh, we don't have to get another workout, say if we wait till the incoming and uh, we'll work our way all the way down to the main river and then uh, I guess just come up with a different game plan. We'll probably fish our way down and you know stop off at like any other bends in the creek or deep water pockets and hopefully you know see some fish on the screen or catch some fish that'll tell us something and lead us in the right direction. Ooh, this bank right along here looks really good. There's a nice bend in the river. Looks like it drops off over here to the right a little bit. Probably a lot of laydowns in there. And I'd imagine in this amazing looking structure, like look at that, there's gotta be some fish in and amongst this tree laying in the water. That's gonna be the spot. Please don't get snagged. Please don't get snagged. Come on. Oh, oh, got bit. Look at that. All right, didn't get snagged, but we got bit. There's one fish on. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can we get him in the kayak? Yeah, all right. Broke the ice today. Booyah. It's a little trouty. It's actually my first uh, speckled trout of the season. I'm just gonna get a quick little measurement on this fish. Probably just about 15 inches. I think 14 inches is a keeper. I'll throw that one back. Even though I am looking to take maybe a couple for the table, I just uh, wanna throw the first one back, you know? Just as a, maybe a little prayer to the fish gods they'll <laughs> bless me with some nicer ones all right let's see if there's any more hanging out in this spot we had a couple more bites before catching that first one so i would say there probably is quite a few hanging out here and uh, to be honest when we were going up the creek i went by this spot and wanted to fish it but there was a local guy that uh, was in a boat uh, that actually like just beat me to this spot he uh, motored right by me and pushed up against the mud and started fishing here. So I didn't want to crowd them, so that's why I kept going up the creek. And uh, now we've got this spot to ourselves. Oh, another one. Real little guy. Really back far from the structure too. Really cool, pretty fish. <laughs> kind of funny how they stiffen up like a board like that. Oh God. Not the best first cast. I'm trying to get really tight into that shadow line there. Uh oh. Oh no. Found a snag. Not surprised. Wow. Broke right off at the leader knot. We're not doing good. Dang. All right, we're back in action. Let's not lose any more jigs. Oh, there's one. Nice. Surprised me a little bit. No, 
nice. They gotta be 14 inches to keep. It's about 14 and a quarter. So I guess we're gonna keep this guy for the table. I've actually never tried speckled trout, so it's gonna be interesting. All right, let's try and do another similar cast just like that and see if we can get another one. I'd like to keep at least like two keeper sized trout just like that. Oh, there's another one. This one feels a little bit bigger. Eh, well, probably about the same size. Beautiful. Looks like we got dinner. And this Kite Tech is pretty much toast. I've already <laughs> melted the back of it and the front of it to keep it working still, but we're gonna rig it sideways. Trout are really not that picky. I bet you rigging it sideways, we'll still be able to get a bite. Ah, no, we found a tree limb. <laughs> a tree limb will eat it sideways or, or right side up. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, just touched it. And I could try popping it out. Booyah, we got it. Oh. That one thumped it hard. Right in the shadow line here. This is gonna be a little bit bigger one. Not really, maybe 16, 15 and a half. Not really where I wanna be. We're drifting under this structure here. Oh. They really know how to thrash a lot of water around. Seem to be all about the same size, like 13 to like 15, 15 and a half. All right, so let's turn around, start heading down the creek. All right, we made it. There's the main river. It took us about 30 minutes, but we made it. And before we get on the main river, I just want to fillet up our catch. These are my first two ever speckled trout that I've ever kept. And uh, I'm not really sure if filleting them or eating them whole is the proper way to do it but uh, for our first go at trying these fish we're just gonna fillet them all right the meat's looking good nice firm white meat Beautiful. Look at those two nice fillets. Just gonna check the stomach contents, see what he was eating. Empty stomach. Let's check what this one was eating too. That's how you can learn a lot about what to fish next time. Of course, obviously the Kitex were working, but you know, say if we saw like little mud minnows in his belly, maybe like a, just a little bit smaller presentation would have been a little bit more effective. I'm just gonna give each fillet a little rinse. Oh yeah, we got dinner. All right, well, we're heading down the main Stono River. It looks like we got like slack water right now. It's four o'clock too, so only got probably an hour and a half till the sun sets. And uh, I might send the drone up just to uh, give us that extra little advantage 
have it fly around some little creeks and see if we can pinpoint exactly maybe where some reds are hanging out. I've never done that before, but uh, I really just want to try it. Still got a good amount of light where maybe it'll penetrate the water enough, especially in the shallows with the water being low. And uh, we'll see if we can find some reds and just give ourselves a little extra advantage. All right, well, we found some reds. The only dilemma is, is the tide is so low right now that you can see right here, it's kind of like dammed off this little creek, but uh, that's where those reds are holding. So we're gonna gingerly and gently try to, I guess, drag the Hobie across these oysters. I really don't want to, but I really want to catch some reds. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we made it. That actually wasn't too bad. Those oysters are like a little bit smoother than I thought. All right, I believe we saw some reds sitting right here on the drone. I'll throw the Kai Tech right in there. If they're feeding, it shouldn't take long for them to smack it. I saw quite a few reds in here. I think I just actually got bumped. Oh, we got hit. We got hit right there. Or we bumped them. Our plastic didn't get pulled down. Maybe we bumped them. There's one. Booyah. Oh, he just popped off. Come on. Go figure. Whoa. Good one. Obviously, you guys can tell we're a little bit better than that first one. Whew. This little fella acted a lot bigger than what he was. Oh. There he goes. All right, we're trying to make a nice and easy little turn. There's fish popping back there. There's another one. Booyah. Look at this little fella. They're real tiny ones back in here. All right, well, I guess that is about a wrap. Just fished for like 20, 30 more minutes after that third one. And it seems like these reds have finally smartened up. And uh, from the sky, I believe I saw some nicer reds in this little creek, but also it's hard to tell when it's a really rinky-dink creek like this, and uh, those little ones could be, look bigger because of that. But uh, solid day, caught some trout, got some dinner, uh, and then we caught some reds. And I hope you guys enjoyed. That's uh, what's most important to me. And uh, yeah, if you guys could help support the channel by picking up some Fishaholic merch, that would be absolutely amazing. And I'll put all my tackling equipment down in the description below. There's a fish just swirling. Um, <laughs> I gotta focus so I don't uh, spend another like 30, 40 minutes trying to catch more. But yeah, we're gonna try and hop back over the dam. Hopefully the tide is higher by now. We don't have to get out of the kayak, but uh, we'll head back to the launch and uh, call it a day and the next vid you know we'll either be back in the salts or be back in the in fresh water and if you guys saw those big cats we caught the last time we hit the lake you know i really want to get back out on the lake and catch like a 30 40 or even 50 plus pound cat like i think that would be absolutely insane and uh, i also want to catch a lot more big reds so we're going to be swapping back and forth uh fresh and salt and then eventually heading down south to florida probably and maybe to the keys so stay tuned be sure to hit that subscribe button Give this video a thumbs up and like always, live to fish, fish to live.